Richard Southern joins us now. From dizzying highs to stomach churning lows, it was certainly another wild ride for GameStop's GameStop stock today, Richard. Yeah, it sure was, and it was a stomach turning low today in the end, Erica. Remember, this is the one of the stocks that the Reddit community has gotten together and decided to buy en masse. We've seen massive gains in the past couple of days for GameStop. Today, though, uh, not so much. It tumbled 43% to close below 200, to close at $197 US. That wipes more than $10 billion in market value off the table. BlackBerry, which had also been surging this week, getting caught up in the sell-off today down 40% AMC down 56. What happened was Robinhood. This is a US app that allows Americans to easily trade stock on their phone. And and what happened was Robinhood said, "Listen, if you got GameStop stock or BlackBerry stock, you can sell it, but you can't buy any more." Mm -hmm. And the reason Erica they gave for that was to try and I guess calm down the volatility. But a lot of people were like, hey, what gives? Why can't I buy any more? A lot of U.S. politicians were saying, what gives? And after the 4 o'clock market closed, this Robinhood app said, okay, tomorrow you'll be able to trade some apps. And as a result, GameStop is higher in the after-hours trade. So the bottom line, Erica, the roller coaster, far from over yet. For sure. All right, some hiring news from one of Canada's largest retailers. Yes, yeah, certainly some good news on the labor front. Lowe's, the home improvement retailer, says it's looking to hire 7,000 people in Canada, including 3,000 right here in Ontario. The company says the hiring uh, will be for, for Lowe's and for Rona stores. It also owns that Rona banner. Uh, looking to fill a number of positions. They're going to hold some national and regional hiring events over the next two months. And, you know, Erica, this comes as these home improvement retailers are bracing for what they think is going to be a busy spring and a busy summer as homeowners look to fix up those homes they've been spending so much time in. This is something we saw last uh, year with a lot of people buying, you know, uh, outdoor furniture and, you know, fixing up their inside and whatnot. And that's you got to think that's something that's going to continue, right, Erica? Yeah, for sure. And it's good news for people who have been looking for a job and who have been going through some very difficult times that uh, they'll yeah. be hiring. So that's good news. Uh, it's been yeah. a while since many of us have gotten to travel, but one hotel company is using innovation to make it safer. Yeah, this is a new robot that some U.S. hotels are rolling out. It's called a VEO. Look at this little thing coming into your room, Erica. Hmm. Using and UV what? light? That's, you got that right. Yeah. Uh, UV light uh, to kill, it says, 99% of viruses and bacteria. So you know, more of a uh, uh, safety measure to, to disinfect those rooms after each use. Uh, but, you know, some people are pointing at this and they're saying, well, here we go. Here's, you know, the, the robots taking over. We've already seen some hotels uh, employ robots to bring room service uh, to guests. And now here's the cleaning. So there is concern about, you know, them starting to replace human jobs in hotels, Erica.